All right, folks. This is a 2016 Mercedes C300 4Matic. All right, this has the uh, looks like the 2.0 with the turbo. We are going to do an air filter change, which is right over there. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this cover off. This cover just snaps right off. Just lift it up, snap it, take it out of the way. All right. The air filter is found in this area right here. Basically, just two screws. There are uh, Torx 20s, T20s, there's one here, one here, and then over here, it just basically just kind of slides and slips into a, like a little holder. All right, you don't have to take this clamp off, we're just gonna do the T20s. All right, let's see here. With this one, make sure it's nice and loose. This is the next T20 right here. That is gonna come off. All right, let's loose. Put that off to the side. There's a little harness over here. I just you know, just push this clip out of the way. Give you a little more more room, so when the housing cover lifts, you'll be okay. All right, so everything stays just where it is. What I do is I just lift it up, out of the way. You can pull it towards you to get it out of that little piece. Let me show you what that little piece looks like. Right there. All right, right there. Those little two pieces slide right in there. So you pull it out a little bit. Then it's time to get the air filter out. Of course, it's very hard to get in there. So I'm gonna use a little trusty screwdriver. Get a little, little pry in here. I'm gonna lift it up out of the way. Once you lift it up out of the way, there will be plenty of room for you to lift it up. Oh, i trying to do this with one hand for you guys. Okay, there you go, like that. Don't fall in, don't fall in. There you go. All right. So, with two hands, of course, you can just lift this cover up a little bit more. Then what I'm doing here, I can just pull this air filter out. Hang on, let me pull it out for you. All right, so yeah, so there's enough room for you to lift it up out of the way. I just propped it up there so that you get an idea what it looks like when it comes out. All right, well, look inside there. All right, we gotta clean all that up. I'm gonna change the filter. That's what the filter looks like. All right, now, let's see how we're gonna clean that up. We have to vacuum it up. Pick it up with uh, your hands. So, since this is so dirty in there, we're gonna have to do the rest of it I'm gonna have to take that uh, hose clamp off and actually remove the whole thing itself so we can get gain uh, better access. All right, hold on. All right, so what I did was I loosened up this clamp and then I took this top housing and I just twisted it open a little bit like a clamp. So now I got all this room in here. So what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna just manually pick up some of the debris that's in there already just to get rid of it. Not gonna get compressed air and blow it because you don't want it to go in here into the intake and damage your engine. Okay, so there's a lot of sand in here too. All right, there's the old filter. So, what we do is we're gonna vacuum it. Take out your little trusty vacuum, start it up, and we're gonna suck it all out. All right, let me set up my vacuum over here. Look at that mess. All right, no fancy vacuum. Unless you want to. Suck it all up. Before we put the new one in. Alright. Clean it up nice and good. Maybe I put a little spray cleaner in there too. Just to clean it out. What you can do with our vacuum, the rest, we do it with a cleaner. All right, hold on. All right, so our guy here is some little super clean cleaner. I'm gonna spray it around in there. Let that work. It's magic. And I'm gonna wipe it up. Sound good? 
that sit a little bit. Get my gloves on there, and I'm gonna wipe them down. the part where I was cleaning up the mess. All right, nice and clean. Spray a little bit more in there. All right, so once it's nice and clean, we're gonna install this STP filter. That's the part number. It'll sit right in here. Okay, just need my other hand there to lift it up a little bit so that it sits nice and square. All right, once you lift this up in this corner here, it fits nice and square. Now we're gonna rotate it back and put those little clips. I'm gonna hook it back in there. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. And we'll do that. All right, so once we rotate the top housing, we line up that piece in there. Just snap right in. Once it snaps in, then we close the lid. Hang on a second. You gotta put you down. I need two hands for this one too. Alright. Snaps in there. Closes up. Put the little wire back in here for yourself. Get your little Torx. Screw in your Torx and do not forget about this one. Okay? Always remember, try to remember what you removed or what you loosened up. Do everything backwards. Alright? How many times I see an air filter change, and you always forget the other part of it. Alright? That's it. Ciao.